In this lesson, we're going to learn about the two types of distance learning called synchronous and asynchronous. What are their strengths and weaknesses? And we're going to have a good time doing it. The strengths of synchronous learning are the potential for instant feedback, real-time collaboration between class members, and less wasted time when experiencing obstacles with course materials. The strengths of asynchronous learning are that you're able to work on your personal schedule. It gives students time to research before responding and avoiding embarrassment. Possibly allows for more factual and research discussions because of being able to prepare answers. Like the butterfly and the cat, deciding which one is better is a matter of perspective and what fits you best. There are also weaknesses to both. The weaknesses of synchronous learning are the interaction between students requires instant responses with unfamiliar material. And putting someone on the spot can be stressful and embarrassing. Conflicting schedules can cause less than 100% participation. It can even cause delays in progression. Personal biases and cultural differences can become a factor. And, as you can see, it can cause conflict between class members. Weaknesses of asynchronous learning are that is that there is a time delay between questions and answers, and if a student is left waiting a long time for an answer, then doing a project or paper can be delayed. Group projects may also have time interaction problems. This can cause project members to become annoyed with procrastinating classmates. Possibly, out-of-date lessons could be distributed uh, if they're not kept up with asynchronous learning. Sometimes it's important to have attention of, the, of all the students at once to help with the lesson. A study result with synchronous and asynchronous webinar participants responded positively regarding the quality of the programming and the method of delivery, but asynchronous participants rated their experience more positively overall. And as you can see, this kitten is on its own schedule from the other kittens, and it is loving every minute of it. study, the results revealed that preferences of tutorial mode were determined by the students' learning habit inclinations. Those who prefer satellite-based synchronous tutorials have stronger views toward positive aspects of interactions and score lower on the need for autonomy and access to learning materials than those who prefer satellite-based asynchronous tutorials. And if you do not like this vlog, you must not like kittens. Understanding these types of learning is what allows a student to make an informed decision. The choice between the two types of distance learning is up to the student's preference.